What have we got today? Um, drink. Fed <laughs> to me for getting there. Yeah. <laughs> These trees, we're coming up to the famous Lover's Arch, going down to Port Victoria. Look at it. See? I think it's bullshit. What? No, don't you believe me? Oh, no, I've got to Google that. Yeah, Google it. It's the famous Lover's Arch. Oh, fucking hell. You framed it. <laughs> you framed it. Framed it, mate. Is that no, cool? no. Hold this hand right for a sec. <laughs> Please. Don't, I'm going to bloody smash you when I grab you. Don't. Mate, hold it. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. So this is where we ended up in part 17. Woke up the next morning at Port Bruton and the weather was shocking and only going to get worse. So off we made our way through to Munta, about 75 k's away. Bleak day, very bleak, not to worry. She'll be right. Okay, we'll catch you down the road, guys. So we arrived at Munta. Munta likes to promote itself as Australia's little Cornwall. It is the largest town in the region known as the Copper Triangle, which includes the mining town of Gindina and the port of Wallaroo. The appeal of Munta is not in its extensive collection of mining memorabilia, but in the insight it offers into the daily lives of the Cornish miners. In the sense, it is a fascinating part of their South Australia rich history. Okay guys, so it is a very wet, bleak day, isn't it, sweetie, at yes. the moment? We knew it was going to be. This is Munta, Munta Bay or Munta, Munta. Or whatever you want to call it. And this is the main street, isn't it, Bo? Yep. Hey? So what we're we gonna do, we're gonna go for a walk and we're gonna go and see. We can find something for tea to take back to our unit, which you haven't seen yet, but you will see very soon, won't yeah, they? Yeah, it's a couple of kilometres that way. <laughs> it is. We're going to wait for it to stop riding before we can ride back. That's not a bad little main street, is it, Bart? Yeah. Eh? Everything's nice and compact. It is, yeah. All these old buildings, really old buildings, aren't they? Yeah. We were told there was a lot of old stuff in town. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> because you're, you're the old stuff that's in town, mate. Yeah. You're the old stuff. It's a nice big old motel, that hotel in the yeah. that one. Thirsty, thirsty. There's another pub up there, bottle shop. Oh, yes. Because they've got signs out. All right. Yeah. I said no, nothing worthwhile going up there. <laughs> Have a look at it. Oh, Rusty's by the bottle shop. Yeah. Kimmy, no. She'd have been at home soaking tonight, going to bed without her bottle. Yeah. All right, so we're up the top end of the street, aren't we, babe? Yep. Just surveying the area. You're sorry about the truck, guys, but people do have to work just because we're on holidays. And we've got the um, we're torn. Munter Hotel there. There's Sip and Save there, and then there's that one down there, Liquor Legends. We're torn. We don't know what we're getting yet. Guaranteed it will be alcohol, won't it, babe? Yes. <laughs> welcome, 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 everybody. Hey. <laughs> one would be forgiven if you think that we're in Tassie at the moment because we're rugged up a bit like Eskimos, aren't we, babe? Yeah, hey? it's chilly. <laughs> it is a bit chilly today, yeah, yeah, no. Nah. It's coming in a bit wild. So it's currently about 13, 14 degrees. Wouldn't be much more, would it? No, it doesn't no, feel like that, doesn't though. feel like that, though. We, as you know, were at... We were with Eskimos. Port Bar. Yeah, Port Bar. We're Broughton. Port... What? Broughton. Port Broughton? Yeah. Oh, yeah, not Port Broughton. Port Broughton, sorry. When, when you're on the road, you lose control you sometimes. Do, yes. Yeah. The, um, we were there, and I tell you what, 
He's probably the most funniest day we've had on our trip so far. <laughs> the best, one not it? Absolutely yep. the best. We met a, if you watched the previous video, you've seen two blokes in the video. Well, they did have a wife each and they had kids and everything. And we had a wow of a time. So why don't we didn't get kicked out of the caravan park? Now, Darren Sale, if you remember Hay, well, it was like that all over again, yep, mate, I it can was. tell you. <laughs> but, uh, but Dazza, Dazza, I, I miss you more, mate. I miss you more. Nothing sorry. will beat that. And nothing will beat that, Dazza. Sorry, Noel. Adam. And Adam, <laughs> if you're watching this. <laughs> but what a fantastic time. And fantastic bunch of people. Yep. So we're in Munta, 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 Munta tonight, aren't we, Bo? We have, well, this part's Munta Bay. So, yeah. yeah, so it's only about 70 odd kilometres down the road. We decided to go here today because it was raining when we left this morning. We're forecasting thunderstorms, hail, possible hail and all that. And we copped rain probably 75% of the way here, didn't we? Not rain, rain, not heavy rain, but yeah. enough to be annoying in that. So we decided to just use this as, as a stopover to go and do the rest of the York Peninsula. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing. We're off tomorrow again, aren't we? Where are we going? Tomorrow. I'll have to watch to find out. Yeah. No, I can't tell it them. It starts can't... with M. Don't fucking tell them nothing, There's a mate. lot of places Tell them nothing, take them nowhere, sweetie. Alrighty. Okay, so I'll show you our little boat. Now, this is our deck. Yes, of course, we're into the stubbies. Now, that's our gloves hanging up there. Free swinging gloves, aren't they, babe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they got a bit wet today. But these are the units we're in. Bad. So, yeah, you can see a bit of blue sky and everything there now. This is starting to fine up a little bit. You'll be pleased to know tomorrow it starts fining up and gets better each day after that, I think. Show them in the barbecue area. The... Well, I can't show them everything at once, Oh, but, OK. Yeah, yeah all right. Just yeah. settle, pedal. Yeah. Also, you'll be forgiven to yeah. think that we're back at Cow because this is the same sort of bloody unit, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. If, if you look back when we went to Cow, our bungalow or cabin or whatever, exactly the same as this, wasn't it, babe? Without the deck. So anyway, yeah, not much to show, really. Fritz, yep. Oh, no, I have got something to show. Look, Kim's cooking tea tonight. Look at this. Look, look. Mushrooms there. Salad. Yeah, we always eat healthy on the road, as you know, guys. And look. Oh, steak. So Kim's cooking tea. Yep. No, she said, I'll cook tea tonight for you, Rusty. Yep. Marvellous. Because steak. you're so good to me. And who the fuck's going to end up cooking tea? Yeah, Rusty. Rusty. And, and, you know, we got the bloody... The shit up. And look... There's not much to show, guys. It's the same, isn't it, sweetie? Exactly. It's virtually yep. the same as the one in Cow, isn't it? It is. What are you doing? I'm trying to open that. Oh, well, there's a problem. I can't even open the oil. <laughs> so, You're cooking tea. Now, how the hell is she going to crack the fry pan on this bloody stove and cook tea uh, for me? I know. Go to bed. You want your bottle <laughs> Where's now? Where's my bottle? I'll give you your bottle. Go to sleep, little girl. Where's my bottle? <laughs> go to sleep. <laughs> All right, then, guys, we better go. Um, we got a bit to do. What have we got to do? Um, drink. <laughs> Fair to me for getting that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got a drink. You silly. Fucking hell. Oh, it's so hard on those remembering what you got to do and what you don't have to do, <laughs> isn't it, mate? Just remember the important. Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, guys, we got to go now. Say goodbye, mate. Bye, mate. There you are. This ain't good, is it, eh? I've got to drag Kim's bike out from the realms here, don't I? Hey? Oh, well, why, did, why should I have to ride two bikes on this trip? Oh, see, you were slipping. It's not good, Thanks. is it, guys, eh? Thanks. There she is there. Look, I had to push that out for her. I just, wanted, I just want everybody to know that. Look what we're on. Explain to them, please. Bit of loose stuff, guys. Bit of loose stuff. Where's the adventure in her? No, we're slipping, pushing up hill. There's no adventure in it because you can't fit on an adventure rock bike. Can you come and give me a hand, get mine back, please? No, you push your <laughs> shit up hill. <laughs> uh, listen to that, will you? She's got hers out, she's gone. But you know what? She doesn't know where she's going, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm going to Port Victoria. Okay. These here are our units that we stayed in for the night at. Munta! Munta. Munta. Hang on. What? Oh. How could you be fucking stuck? I got it out for you. Hang on. Yeah, no, my foot peg was stuck. Oh, God, guys, it started early today. She's cool, babe. It's I can't even see her yet, guys. I'm going to be in Munta in a minute. I don't know where she is. I'm here. I'm coming. Whoa. 
she slipped and slided a bit there. Oh, she did not! <laughs> you should have seen it! No, it did not! I was watching you in the mirror! <laughs> Oh dear dearie, uh, we're going to go and put petrol in, but we're going to show you, we did go for a walk up Munta yesterday, didn't we? Munta, Munta, yes. Yes, so, yes, it's a little bit windy, you blew garly last night, you guys in New South Wales, Victoria had all that rain and storms last night, a bit of a tornado or something, um, we just got a bit of wind here and that was it. Munta's been good to me, my wife cooked me a beautiful meal last night. Yeah. Some ribeye steak and salad and garlic bread. I thought I was in a pub. <laughs> Went to bed fucking early. <laughs> Give him a rest. I said, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just going to get comfortable. Oh, well, I'm just going to sit up in bed because the telly's in the lounge, obviously. I said, what? I said, you're going to go to sleep. She had a bottle and everything and that was it, wasn't it, babe? <laughs> By the bed. Yeah. So, guys, this is the main street. I mean, we did walk up it yesterday. Oh, we didn't walk down here. We rode down here and walked up it with the camera there for a while yesterday. Not a bad little town, is it, babe? It's probably, all right. We're probably a little bit far out, but that's okay. It'd be better town if you weren't in it. Yeah, well, there you go. Hey? Just remember that when you're trying to keep up. It's slow down a bit. It's windy. Oh, it's slow down. It's starting to sprinkle rain. <laughs> That's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> you liar. Uh, nice little park there in town. Oh, this is it. Is. What? Wombat's in the park there yesterday. I fucking see a wombat every time I look in the mirror. Stop looking at yourself then. <laughs> oh no, I'm looking backwards, don't you worry. <laughs> nice town. It is a nice little town. A lot of old buildings and everything. Nice and collective. Okay, we're going to go in the servo here. Oh, we could get blown away here. <laughs> Jesus fucking blown Christ. Up. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, at least we won't know what fucking it is. So say goodbye to Munta, guys. Uh, sorry about the leave. And we're going down to... <sighs> I'm not telling you. You'll have to uh -huh. watch and find out. They all start with M down here anyway. There's a lot of the towns down here do, don't they? Yeah. Hey guys, up with and beyond with the beautiful fields. We didn't know between um Oh I don't even know where we stopped the day before. Fort Broughton, wasn't it? Broughton. Yeah, yep. Fort Broughton and Munter we didn't do any filming because it was raining fairly well, wasn't it babe? Yeah. So I just left the camera and everything off her head. A little bugger it. It was only a short ride, 70k's. You didn't miss anything apart from rain and beautiful scenery like this, guys. <laughs> this bit of road here reminds me of Tassie of all these gum trees and everything. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, it And the green pastures. Nice, very nice. In the weather today, they are offering us up 40% chances of showers, aren't they, Bo? How much? 40, 45s, and oh, it gets right. less later on today, and the wind starts dying down. It is windy though, guys, have a look at these trees if you can see it. I thought the cabin roof was going to come off for a while last night. <laughs> so this is Maitland, guys, in South Australia on the York Peninsula. Doesn't look too bad of a little town, does it? Yeah, we should have stayed here. We should have stayed here, Kimmy reckons. Well, I ask her where she wants to stay. That's fair size, really, isn't it? Bigger than Munta. Bigger than Munta. The change in nature of the York Peninsula, once it was economically driven by wheat and copper, now it is driven almost exclusively by tourism, has meant that Maitland, one of the few towns not on the coast, has had to change to order to survive. It has probably been safe because of its central location in the middle of the York Peninsula. If locals in the North see Kadena as a service centre, then locals in the South see Maitland as a service centre with a wide main street. That was Maitland guys. As you might have seen by that song, we're heading out to uh, Port Victoria at the moment. We're going to have a little look out there. We might get, we might get some brekkie out there maybe, then we might not. We have not got a clue, have we sweetie? No, no idea. Tour guides, just, he don't know. Once he starts getting angry though, for sure guys, I'll be fucking stopping. 
She'll start getting hangry back there. Won't ya? Yep. Alright, so as you can see here guys, coming up these trees, we're coming up to the famous Lover's Arch, going down to Port Victoria. Look at it. See heart shape right there. That's what it is, that's what it's called, the lover's arch in the boat, and we're uh, here. We better stop there, do some loving. I've got no time for loving, sweetie, I'm riding. Uh, yeah, the famous lover's arch, you you guys seen it first with Kimmy Russ Adventures. I think it's bullshit. What, no, don't you believe me? Oh no, I've got to Google that. Yeah, Google it, it's the famous lover's arch, Port yeah, Victoria, man. on the way to Port Victoria. No, oh, you, all you South Australians, get on now and tell her. Tell her <laughs> Rusty's not bullshit. Oh, it's hard to tell. What? You don't believe me? I've never heard of it. Oh, oh I, feel, I feel depressed now. <laughs> you don't believe your husband. You ain't fault. You should cry wolf all the time. <laughs> oh, I never cry wolf, babe. <laughs> Little boy, they cry wolf. <laughs> Welcome to Port Victoria, guys. We're just coming into it. I don't know why Henry wants to take me that way for Turn right. We'll go that way though, because Henry says he might know something we don't know. Yeah, he's probably been here before. Has he? Oh, okay. And the strange guys, bloody GPSs, eh? You have reached your destination. Now, I'll put in you have reached your destination. Okay, Henry. Now, look, see what he does? See what he does? We reach our de destination, and no sooner have we reached our destination, he's telling me to, to bar. Alright, so we'll go down along here. they got some nice cabins on the foreshore there, babe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Out looking the port there. There's a mm. whale watching there. Whale well, watching, I'll do that every fucking night. I <laughs> 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 mean, oh, come on, give us a break, babe. <laughs> Uh, let into that, didn't I? Right, uh, did you want to go down there and have a little look, see? If you want, yeah. Okay, if I, oh, look at that old pub there. Yeah. He's took you up the back street. Yeah. Although it is now a small, quiet town on the York Peninsula, Port Victoria is one of the most romantic and historically important settlements in South Australia. The town calls itself the last of the Windjammer ports, and it is the romantic connection with the age of sail and great clipper ships that give the town its special magic. Today, it might be a sleepy small rural town, but its history is filled with adventure and romance. Right, what town's this, sweetie? What's it, M? Minlerton. Oh. Minlerton. We're here at Harry, Captain Harry Butler's memorial. He's got a plane. We don't know who he is, so we're going to have a look in a sec, aren't we, Bud? Yep. He, his plane's in there. Okay, I'll catch you in a minute, guys. Okay, so we've just pulled up at Minlerton. I think that's how you say it, Minlerton, on the way down the York Peninsula. We've come across Captain Harry Butler's memorial. You may ask, who is Captain Harry Butler? I had no idea, but that's his plane there, the Red Devil. Right in the main street, isn't it, babe? There is a little memorial over here, babe. Kim doesn't want to be seen today. She's got her head on still. See? Didn't put no makeup on, so you know. There we go. There he is. There's the man himself. He's only as tall as you by the looks of things. Right, here we go. We might get a bit of info here. Captain Harry Butler. Oh, he's from here. Middleton's own First World War flying ace. That's what he is. That's him there. That's the man himself. Middleton is perhaps best known as the home of the Red Devil, a rare monoplane that once belonged to local hero and legendary First World War aviator, Captain Harry Butler. 
proclaimed as a town in 1876, Middleton was originally known as Gumflat, after Gumflat Station, a local sheep run named for its magnificent stand of mature red gums. And that is where we are on the York Peninsula at the moment. He was World War One ace, flying ace, babe, see? Oh, cool. Yeah, that's what he was. And he's, and he's from, he's from here. Minlayton. Min, Minlayton. Minlayton. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, um, they stole the name of, they stole my name, of my boy. Today, boy, the Red, Red Devil. Yeah. This, at a time, was, it was once the fastest aircraft in the world at 132 miles an hour, guys. That's not bad, eh? Not bad. That's faster than Kim's Harley. Let's go. Quite a big main street by the looks of it. Yeah. Dual lanes, both yeah. sides. Yeah. Old horse and cart street. That's it. She's a fair sized town, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. Not bad at all. Middleton is a service centre surrounded by sheep and wheat farms in the heart of the York Peninsula. It is a functional service town with the only major attraction being the beautifully preserved Red Devil, a monoplane flown by local World War I ace Captain Harry Butler. Middleton is located 200 kilometres west of Adelaide via the Princess and York Highway. That's Middleton. We're not sure how to pronounce it. <laughs> Leighton, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so we're rocking into Marion Bay, aren't we, babe? Marion Bay is 283 kilometres from Adelaide. It is at the York Peninsula southern tip and just on the edge of the wonderfully wild and untouched Innes National Park. It's hardly a town. It is more a recreational fishing holiday destination with a jetty. It has less than 200 permanent residents and 70% of the houses are holiday rentals. There is a single motel and very modest Marion Bay Tavern provides meal and drinks for visitors. The appeal of the town is its surrounds of the Innes National Park. A whole lot of shacks. Yeah, it's like a little holiday town. Well, I think that's all it is. What are you doing, Russ? Clean, mate, clean. Showing off. Clean, Look at sweetie. Him. Showing off. <laughs> Look at him going at it. It's the most work he's done on holidays. Nah, it is the only work I've done on my holidays. Apart from lifting the elbow, babe. Yeah, I you do that well. I do that quite frequently, don't I, babe? Yeah. That stuff's pretty good, really. Yeah. That bike was pretty dirty. It does actually bring it up pretty well, doesn't it? Yeah. What sort of stuff is it? It's stuff I spray on. Come on, they need to get on board. We're using their stuff. Show us. What is it? Mother. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, what is it? Hang Mothers. On. Mothers. 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 Mother's milk for my bike. Oh, what's the matter, babe? You feel guilty, did you, when you seen how good Rusty's bike was? Did you feel guilty, did you? Hey, sat there for half hour. What? Don't worry about me screen, guys. I haven't cleaned that yet. But look, it didn't come up too bad, considering it was filthy. But look, at Kim, guilty as always. She's sitting on that chair over there, and she felt guilty, didn't I she? Had the opportunity to use look, your stuff on yeah. Home. See, look, the mother's works really well. Mother, you got marks here. Look, yeah, spray on there. Bug splatter underneath. Come on, babe, get down. I told you before. Go down. Go down. <laughs> <laughs> g'day, 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 yeah, how are you, sir? Oh, you're a bit excited. <laughs> Why? The fucking rain cleared up, babe. Yeah. Rain cleared up, the wind is gone, and we're on the road again, aren't we? Yeah, and we... we're down in Marion Bay, aren't we? Drinking stubbies. Oh, of course we're drinking stubbies, and we've been across to the tavern. We're staying at a very nice little motel here. How much did this $80 motel cost us? I wouldn't be able to tell you. Yeah, you don't want to fucking know either. Oh. It's a, bit dear, it's a bit dear down this way, but we've had a great time today, like what you said. It stopped raining and, and the wind has finally stopped. It was still blowing when we got here, wasn't it? I could only get someone else to blow, I'll be right, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> but it, it doesn't happen, does it? <laughs> oh, ah, well. I might line someone up in the tavern for you. Yeah, cool, cool. Now that'd be nice. Right, so I'll show you around our little complex. I'll show you the bikes first. I'll show them the bikes mm -hmm. first. Okay, look. There's the bikes. And look, 
the bikes have had a makeover today. Look at that. Kim got a bit jealous and she did her bike. So this is our complex here for the night. This is our room. And our helmet. Oh, fucking no. You framed it. <laughs> you framed it. <laughs> you framed it, mate. <laughs> what have you done? Oh, she must love it. I think she loves that more than Monty. <laughs> oh, I mean, oh, my God. What have you done? I don't know. What have you done? You framed it, sweetie. She looks pretty good up there. Oh, look at that, will you? Just don't, leave it it. Just don't leave it there. Why, well, you're a bad girl, aren't you, babe? I'm going to have to spank you spank later. <laughs> hey, guys, this is our room. Rusty. Oh, look, you can see it. Look, she's framed it right in the middle. And this is her little bed. It's see, that's her little bed. bed. Yeah, that's, that's Rusty's bed. That's Kimmy's bed. Because I've outframed. You brain. stop playing with your toys and start playing with our Rusty, please. <laughs> Uh, You're on so, your own tonight, mate. Yeah, I guess so. So, yeah, it's just a normal room, guys. Aircon, all the mod con. A little bitty hooker there, but anyway. Little bitty what? Hooker, 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 hooker. hooker. Marion Bay hooker. Marion Bay hooker there. Right, that's our shower and our shitter. Over the top there's our shower as well. And actually, through the glass there is our shower as well. We. <laughs> I'm just fucking elbowed her in the snout there. I think it's bleeding. <laughs> don't show them, babe. I'll get down for abuse. Don't, don't show okay. them to her. Okay. Jeez, I'll just that's elbowed her. That's what show them. Gonna... Oh, but that's nothing. Look here. Look here, guys. Look. Can you see that? Oh, won't it? See that mark there? Oh, Rusty. He's copped it from her. Yes? That's a, that's a cut. Yeah. That's think, from her. Yep. Yeah. With the rings. Yes. I think it was this yeah. one. Oh, speaking of rings now. Come here. Here's the shitter, guys. If you want to see the shitter. Right. <laughs> now. Oh, God, we just fit. Oh, Mrs. McCracken here. Oh, oh Mrs. McCracken. That's what I'm calling her. <laughs> Come over it. Oh, Mrs. McCracken. She gets off the bike now, but I. She says, I'm sore. I said, what sore? This is how she got Mrs. McCracken. Oh, <laughs> my crack sore. I said, what do you mean, you fucking crack sore? I think my crack is split. I said, it's always had a fucking split there. <laughs> it's always had a split there. <laughs> it just got bigger. And she, you know what she said to me? She said, I'll bend over. Can you have a look, please? <gasps> I'm not going there. I'm not going there. He's nothing but a liar. No fucking way, Mrs. McCracken. <laughs> I said, if oh, I look God. there, I'll never go on back. <laughs> You said you'll leave me. <laughs> she reckons it's a Not looking. I'm not looking. She can go to the doctors when she gets back. I already know she's got a split there. She doesn't have to tell me. <laughs> so anyway, oh God. that's how she got Mrs. McCracken. So if you hear me call her Mrs. McCracken, it's it's the booty. It's the booty. <laughs> What did you say? It's just yeah. spread further on the, over the side of the seat. Yeah, that's it. And it's just a bit sore, that's all. <laughs> she wouldn't take that as an answer, yeah. I can tell you. When I said it spread out further. Hey, mate, say goodbye. We've got to go. Goodbye. They've seen around go. this luxurious palace. We'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> okay. Kim's in the shower. I'll just show you. else to pick on while I'm on holidays, you see, so I've got to pick on her. You right, babe? You right? <laughs> Do you want me to leave her alone? Okay. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, because I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. 
But then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together 